Well, welcome to the Go Your Way podcast. As always, I'm joined by Phoebe Go, and our very special guest this week is Dean Hildebrand, Technical Director in the Office of the CTO at Google. And Dean, we are up to our eyeballs this week. Google Next is kicking off an entirely different format. This is stretching over nine weeks, and this is just week one. This is Are, are you on a treadmill right now as far as the content that you got to develop for this? Well, thankfully, we started uh, many weeks ago preparing for all of the content. So, you know, it's all getting ready and it's just all going to come out in hopefully a seamless fashion. And hopefully people can all keep the stamina up over the nine weeks and find interesting content every week. I think it's like a it's like a Netflix show, right, where things are going to come out every week and there will always be something to, to grab your attention. As long as someone doesn't die on the episode every week. <laughs> when you said Netflix, I went Game of Thrones. And I'm like, wait, wait a second. <laughs> Let's hope it has a, it builds towards a really nice finale. Yeah. Yes, yes. And the interesting thing too, you know, one of the things obviously folks at NetApp really like about uh, Google is the fact that our CEOs are twin brothers, identical twin brothers. And uh, so, you know, Thomas has kicked things off uh, this week. Any highlights or anything uh, about that that you, you – know, particularly appealing to you? Well, you know, I think he really just sets the tone, you know, the enterprise and Anthos and all of the key things where we're focusing on. on I think it was really setting the tone for all of the nine, to our point of really just introducing um, how we're going to approach the entire uh, remaining nine weeks uh, that's going on. So I think, you know, TK and GK, I think together, you know, where it's... Uh, TK team. and GK! Is <laughs> is, the, is that the nomenclature that uh, people at Google use? I, I we, we say TK uh, a lot internally, but I think when you throw out TK and GK, it takes a second to, to clue in and then be like, oh, I get it. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I'm always careful about using GK because that's my initials. And I... <laughs> Look, as intimidating as I want to be to our teams, I'm very careful about throwing around uh, acronyms for, for 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 names for obvious reasons. There's more than one more than one GK in this company. No, there there <laughs> well, is only one GK, and then GK there's one. <laughs> You're right. I'm not the GK. You're not the GK. <laughs> That's a great point. And I think it's really interesting, Dean, when we talk about, I mean, this is kind of new in our industry and across the board, nine weeks of content. And like, I, as I was going through it, and there are so many, uh, 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 it's all video on demand. And there's so many different elements to this uh, that no matter what your flavor or what your interest is, there's something here for, for everybody. And it's amazing, the depth of content. And I think it's really interesting the way Google's taking advantage of, not taking advantage, it's probably not the right word, but optimizing the opportunity now that this is a virtual event and how do you maximize the experience for people as opposed to cramming everything into a two-day or three-day window. It's a little bit more relaxed because you can cr kind of cruise it and decide what are the elements that are most interesting to you when you want to consume it as opposed to on a calendar or on a schedule. Right. I, I think like some of the other conferences that I've been to so far, virtually, you know, you, you have to provision one or two full days, which is hard enough to do when you're sitting at your computer, right. And being distracted with, with everything else that's going on in your life, as opposed to being in the conference room, right. Where you have dedicated attention. And so I, I really like this idea of it's, it's even actually hard on the website to find out times and then you realize, well, times are irrelevant here on when the content's coming out. It's just coming out as it comes out, you know, consume it when you do. And I really encourage people to, you know, provision some time every day to sort of see what might be, uh, you know, interesting to them and pick a few selections. But again, like you said, nine weeks, right? Pace yourself <laughs> over well, that would, time and, yeah, and just fill in the gaps, right, for your day to, to sort of make sure you don't get lose track of this opportunity. Yeah, I'd ask, I mean, you know, you, you've been through many conferences, I'm sure, Dean. And what is the, what would you say is the best way to really absorb some of this content? Um, obviously, Google's tried to, to split it up into categories, which I think really helps because you can go, okay, this week I'm focusing on, on storage or this week I'm focusing on collaboration. But, uh, you know, within those breakouts, are there, are there kind of tracks that you would say really work for people uh, or just well, consume as you feel? 
Yeah, I think it just really depends on, you know, your role and what you want to get out of uh, and learn about Google Cloud, right? There's cloud hero sessions where you can compete with other people online on terms of how they're doing tutorials and um, the code, code labs. There's one-on-one -on -one expert sessions where you can sign up to meet with various uh, cloud experts to talk about, you know, the type of topics that are relevant for you. There's, you know, the breakout sessions. Uh, and in those sessions, you know, normally it would be about 45 minutes to an hour. The talks this year are going to be much shorter, like about 20 to 25 minutes. And so it'll be a lot more condensed in terms of what is there. And it's really going to be more of a teaser, I think, in many ways to give you all that original content. And then you can go off and do the code labs on the product or read the in-depth solution guides on them. But then as well as every single uh, talk is going to come with a question and answer forum. And so I think that is really critical, where if you have uh, questions for talks, you can post them. I can't remember if you can post them before the talk or during the talks, but do that. And all of the speakers are going to be responding to all of those questions. And so we call it Dory internally, but it's essentially using, you know, just an online uh, a question period. You can vote for different questions to raise them up the stack. And then that really is your way to interact with the speakers. Um, again, throughout the week in which uh, their their talk is is happening. So I think I really encourage that level of engagement instead of just kind of treating it like, a, like another learning session online that you kind of are half paying attention to while you're doing your emails. So and as we wrap up here, I'm just going to call out uh, the different week focuses in order. This week is Industry Insights. There's productivity and collaboration next week. Week three is infrastructure. Week four, security. Week five is data analytics. Week six is data management and databases. Week seven is application modernization. And week eight is cloud AI. And week nine wraps up with business application platforms. And I'm really excited about week three. And Dean, on our next episode, we're going to dive in a little bit deeper on infrastructure, you've got a presentation you're doing. NetApp's got a bunch of presentations we're doing. So we'll talk more about that on our next episode. But for this episode, Dean, thank you so much. Phoebe, as always, thank you so much. And Phoebe, for people who want to leave us reviews, where would they go? Well, please do subscribe to our podcast on YouTube, or we also are on Spotify, Apple, and Google Podcasts, of course. Um, and leave a, leave a thumbs up, leave a review, leave a comment, leave a question. We'd be happy to hear from you. Fantastic. And we'll see everybody on our next episode. Thank you. Thank you.